Hi, my name is Isabel and I'm the Scientist and Parks Fellow at the Lyndon B. Johnson National Historical Park. Here at the park, we are very excited for the release of the first science images from the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be providing astronomers with incredible new data. Before that happens, here's some more information about the James Webb Space Telescope, its science mission, and its connection to Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon B. Johnson was a longtime supporter of space exploration. LBJ was a proponent of increasing federal funding for NASA and was a supporter of the Apollo missions. In 1958, while he was a U.S. Senator, Senator Johnson spoke at the United Nations to urge for international cooperation, and in 1967, he signed the Outer Space Treaty. LBJ stated that this treaty means that the moon and our sister planets will serve only the purpose of peace and not of war. As Vice President and later President, Lyndon B. Johnson worked with James Webb, for whom the James Webb Space Telescope is named. James Webb was the second administrator of NASA and was appointed by John F. Kennedy. He held this position during John F. Kennedy and Lyndon B. Johnson's presidencies from 1961 until 1968. James Webb wanted to build a space agency that wasn't just focused on the moon landing. He wanted to find a balance between scientific research and human exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope helps further his goals of scientific research. James Webb had a well-documented relationship with Lyndon B. Johnson, and he has even visited the LBJ Ranch. In fact, he is one of the many visitors to the Texas White House, the building right behind me, and he even signed a friendship stone while he was here. LBJ also hosted several other individuals involved with the space program, and they signed friendship stones as well, including astronauts John Glenn, Alan Shepard, Don Isley, Wally Shearer, and Walter Cunningham. Many of these friendship stones can be seen on display in the Lyndon B. Johnson National Historical Park's Visitor Center in Johnson City, Texas, and at the LBJ Ranch in Stonewall, Texas. Though Lyndon B. Johnson left office by the time the United States first sent men to the moon, he laid the groundwork for that mission and many future NASA missions. Many NASA missions are telescopes in space orbiting the Earth. For thousands of years, people across the world have been studying astronomy, and this study is improved by telescopes. Many telescopes are right here on Earth, and they range from the telescopes you might use in your backyard to incredibly large telescopes like those at the McDonald Observatory in Fort Davis, Texas. However, ground-based telescopes can limit what you can study. Space telescopes allow us to explore even more of our universe by observing objects at wavelengths that are absorbed by Earth's atmosphere, like infrared and ultraviolet light. There have been many telescopes in space, such as the Spitzer Space Telescope and the Galaxy Evolution Explorer. The most well-known is the Hubble Space Telescope, and now the James Webb Space Telescope is among them. The James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared telescope, meaning it collects light at a longer wavelength than humans can see. This allows the telescope to see many cool things that would otherwise be invisible to us. The telescope will look back in time and see the very first stars and galaxies that ever formed. It can do this using a phenomenon called look-back time. It takes light time to travel, which we don't notice on the small scales we encounter on Earth. However, when we are looking at very distant objects, the light that we see has been traveling for a very long time, sometimes even billions of years. Because of this, when we see light from distant objects, we are seeing into the past. The James Webb Space Telescope will be observing these very distant stars and galaxies, so we are seeing them shortly after the universe formed. The Webb Telescope will also allow us to study the evolution of galaxies over time and star formation and planets orbiting stars both planets in our solar system and planets in other solar systems, which are known as exoplanets. There are four main instruments on the telescope. The near-infrared camera can study the earliest stars and galaxies, as well as exoplanets. The near-infrared spectrograph is a device that splits light into its components, like a prism, and will give us information about the chemical composition of objects. The mid-infrared instrument is both a camera and a spectrograph, and can study distant galaxies, new stars, and comets in our solar system. Lastly, the fine guidance sensor slash near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph will help find new planets in other solar systems. The James Webb Space Telescope represents an exciting new era in astronomy. Make sure to stay tuned for the release of the first science images from this telescope on July 12th at 9.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. NASA will be broadcasting these, this release on their many social media platforms. Additionally, we here at the Lyndon B. Johnson National Historical Park are very excited to be viewing the live stream in our Hangar Visitor Center at the LBJ Ranch because the LBJ Ranch is a certified international dark sky park. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon.